When you see Google Photos sorting and tagging pictures automatically, or Apple unlocking your iPhone using face lock, or when you read the news of CCTV cameras helping Dubai police arrest over 300 suspects in just a year, you must have wondered how your daily devices got so smart. As social distancing and contactless interactions become the norm of the new times, the same tech advancement that is as basic as identifying and verifying a person's identity using their face keeps gaining prominence. You guessed it, I'm talking about facial recognition. It is a widely used biometric that identifies and authenticates a person using a set of recognizable and verifiable data unique and specific to that person only. The global facial recognition market size was valued at 3.4 billion US dollars in 2019 and is anticipated to expand at a CAGR of 14.5% from 2020 to 2027. The technology is improving, evolving and expanding at an explosive rate that soon we won't even notice we are using it. To understand its scope and potential, we spoke with the CEO of Farnec, a UAE-based facilities management company that has implemented its face recognition services at the Dubai Mall, Burj Khalifa and Dubai Airport. You're watching the Arabian Business Enterprise Innovator series in association with UPS. Uh, facial um, recognition is a device with a very uh, high-end um, uh, software that has a, a fast um, facial recognition algorithm. And um, the devices that uh, we use, they have a capacity for 10,000 users. So we can um, recognize 10,000 uh, staff. At the moment we have uh, 8,000. Maybe in future, if we grow further, we need to go for an uh, upgrade. Uh, so this system is also fully connected with the cloud. That means we have real-time access and we can see real-time when somebody enters the building of Farnik and the Farnik employee is uh, uh, captured uh, uh, accordingly. We have a total workforce of 8,000 employees and um, we work throughout uh, the UAE. We have uh, flagship projects such as uh, the Burj Khalifa, uh, Dubai Mall, uh, Dubai Airport, uh, Abu Dhabi Airport or uh, Yas Marina as well. We have uh, installed on all our projects biometric uh, fingerprint machines where we could see the attendance of our employees. These attendance we used then in our uh, back office fully automated to pay the payroll of our employees. So that was a full end uh, solution working very well and uh, helped us to uh, improve our efficiency. So when the COVID crisis came, we had a, a problem because of the touch points. So we couldn't um, allow all our employees to use the fingerprint. So we needed to disconnect this and needed to look uh, for another solution. So um, we brainstormed what we could do and um, we also put ourselves in the shoes of a customer uh, in trying to understand uh, what the customer may, may feel in this uh, difficult time. And um, we uh, came to understand that nowadays for a customer it's very important to see all the employees or people that are working in a building that he feels safe. So we were aware that with Farnek we bring uh, people uh, to our customers and we wanted to have a clear barrier and make sure that our employees, everybody who enters the building is on the safe side. So with that we needed to make sure that we measure the temperature uh, in a professional way and we needed to um, have the solution with our time attendance. Uh, that was when the facial recognition um, solution came up. Uh, so we first uh, bought the pilot, so we installed it in our head office to see how the system works and we integrated also the, the temperature monitoring. So um, now as it uh, works is um, everybody from uh, Farnek goes to the um, facial recognition and the beauty is it also can recognize the face even if you have a face mask. So the employee can come, it's uh, fully recognized with the time, uh, with the roll number, um, with the temperature of the employee and we can give automated the report to our customer and to our uh, health department to have full transparency about how many people are on the site um, when they entered the building, when they left the building, so there's a full transparency and we can be on the safe side. Certain countries, they also use it uh, for marketing, for example. Uh, I mean, uh, if you are allowed uh, for, uh, from the 
government body that um, you can use this technology. You, for example, can uh, see immediately the details of the person that enters your shop. So for the retail, that is a wonderful solution, of course, because you know exactly that this person may um, prefer this and this product and you can tailor made then the offer to the person that enters your shop. So there are a lot of uh, um, usage uh, opportunities uh, for uh, facial recognition. As you know, there is a Dubai um, municipality guidelines that everybody that enters the building uh, need to measure the, the temperature of the person. So mostly you see security guards standing there with a kind of a pistol uh, measurement uh, equipment measuring your temperature. This doesn't come for free. The security guard needs to be paid uh, and uh, it, in my opinion, is very unprofessional because it's definitely not uh, very accurate. On the other side, uh, you see this device costs 4,500 dirhams. So a security guard costs you um, around 4,000 uh, dirhams a month. So in two months you already have paid for the technology and you have real-time access, you ha have uh, definitely uh, more accurate information. So definitely it is uh, almost a no-brainer to install such technology. I also read that uh, a newer generation of facial recognition will have an option where you also can measure uh, the health of the employees. That means uh, through the facial expression and through the eyes, you can see if a person has a health issue. So that will also help us in scanning our employees in the morning and in the evening to see if we have a person who may not be sick yet, but may have a health problem that we can be uh, proactive and uh, bring the person uh, back, uh, uh, bring a doctor to him. Another uh, opportunity that I can see is uh, about happiness. Uh, the newest technology also may measure how happy a person is. Also, according to the facial expression, you may see if a person is happy or not. We all know that uh, a happy um, employee is uh, delivering a better uh, service, so that will also uh, give us an opportunity to see if we have a project where our employees, for some reason, may not be as happy as uh, it could be. So we could go into the root cause analysis, we could look what is the problem to make sure that our employees are also happy there, and with that we also can uh, deliver an uh, exceptional service to our customers. So there I, I see a huge opportunity in this technology.